Happy New Year, guys! I am so excited that it is finally 2021. I can't believe that we made it through 2020. You did it! I'm so proud of you. Today we're going to be talking about, I think, a very appropriate topic for the beginning of a new year, which is how to figure out your personal style or how to find your personal style and dress with more confidence for 2021. Maybe you've wondered how you can look chic and put together or how you can create a wardrobe that you love. There's a lot that goes into doing that and I just want to really help you guys out this year. So I'm gonna be giving you some tips that you you may not have heard of and also giving you just some inspiration about how you can improve your style this year. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of YouTube videos that pop up when you type in how to figure out your personal style or how to find your personal style or how to dress with confidence and I'm sure they all contain loads of helpful information but here's something that I want to share with you that I doubt you will find in any of those other videos. In fact I've talked about this this a little bit on my channel before but it's really the number one thing you need to know in order to have good style maybe you feel like you're a little bit lost with your style because you have lots of different clothes in your closet that come from many different places and many different styles kind of mishmash together or maybe growing up you heard that you didn't want to dress in a way to draw attention to yourself or to make others think that you were looking for attention. Maybe you have lots of excuses in your mind as to why you can't have the style that you dream of having or buy the clothes that you want to buy. I totally get it. I really do. I spent most of my young adult and adult life kind of wrapped up in a lot of negative thinking about myself and I mean that. I'm not just saying that. I was not able to see all the blessings that were given to me but I truly believe that in order for you to have good style you need to do just one thing. You were made to be beautiful. Whether you accept yourself as a beautiful person or not, I fully 100% am convinced of that as a fact. And here's why. I believe that each human being was created with a total unique life and a total unique personality and that that uniqueness that is about you, that you possess, is a very beautiful thing. You may have lots of things that get in the way of you feeling beautiful or you feeling handsome or confident, but if you just embrace these unique attributes about yourself, I really firmly believe that you will learn to have the style that you want to have. Think about this for a second. In the history of the whole world and in the history of all of the people in this world, there's never been one wardrobe that is exactly like another, just as there's never been one person that's exactly like another. No one can have the wardrobe that you have. No one can wear the clothes that you wear. No one can wear them in the way that you wear them. So you might be limiting yourself, but I want to encourage you to never ever ever compromise. Never give up on the vision that you have for the person who you are on the inside or the person that you feel you are on the inside because I believe that what we wear is a true representation of our unique personality and our soul and I know that sounds a little bit deep and a little bit out there to put clothing and soul together but that's just the kind of person that I am. I'm a very very spiritual person and so I think that we really do represent who we are as people in this walk, this walk of life um, by the clothing that we wear. So why not take this blessing and this gift and this opportunity that we have and use the resources we've been given to truly become more ourselves, to become a better version of ourselves. As cheesy and as trite as that might sound, I think that that is one of the tools that was given us the tool of clothing and fashion and style. And I totally understand that at the first of the year, it's all about trying to be focused on self-improvement and maybe that's a little bit, you know, limiting. I do think that we should look at helping others. That should be a big part of what we do as human beings. That should be a huge part of our lives. But I also think that the way that you see yourself is the way that you see 
others and the way that you allow others to treat you is part of your view of yourself. So if you have a really small view of yourself, if you think that you don't deserve to look good, that you'll never look good, if you look in the mirror and you see something that isn't accurate, if you know what I mean, like if you look in the mirror and you think, man, I'm so ugly or not cute or I'm overweight or whatever narrative you have of yourself, then you're going to kind of allow that to come out in the way that you dress and you're gonna allow that to come out in the way that other people treat you and I do think that there is some truth to dressing for the part that you want in a sense. I believe that makeup, skincare, hair care, clothing, these are all tools of self-care and they are gifts that we've been given that we can steward really well and use to do good in this life and in this world. These are all transient things, they're all gonna go away at some point, but they're things that we have and they're things that we can use and they're things that we can do really, really, really well. A couple of quick tips for you to dive into understanding how to figure out your personal style and really uncover it is who do you view uh, yourself becoming like when you think about who you are maybe maybe you are where you want to be right now and that's amazing but i believe that we're always on a continual journey of refining this identity that we have in this life so who is it that you envision yourself being and becoming like what do you see yourself doing what's the mental image that you get in your mind I also really love to ask my clients of any person living or dead famous or non-famous fictional non-fictional male or female who has the best style to you like whose closet would you raid whose wardrobe would you want to own and then another really great question I love to ask is what what are the time periods or places that really inspire you and light you up? Is it the 1970s in California? Is it the 1960s in Paris? Is it the 1990s in New York? What is the time period or the place that just like fills your heart with glee? And then finally a question that I really love to ask is, you know, if you had an unlimited budget, let's say, that you could spend at any store, where would you spend? an unlimited budget on clothing and shoes. I know that that's kind of an indulgent question to ask, but it's designed to help you see where you are really naturally drawn to. I think on the flip side, one reason why you may not be able to determine what your true personal style is, is that you maybe haven't been exposed to enough imagery. Think about it this way. When you're trying to learn a new language, they talk about being in an immersive experience you need to be surrounded by this other language so that you become fluent in it. And I believe that art and style and design and fashion is exactly the same way. If you haven't exposed yourself to enough art, style, fashion, and design, you might not know what options are out there for you or what your taste really even is. It's like that scene in Runaway Bride with Julia Roberts where she has to try all the different styles of eggs because she's just accepted that whatever her partner at the time likes is what she likes but she doesn't really know what her true taste is until she's tried everything and i think that's the same for fashion and art and style and design you have to try new things and you have to expose yourself to things that are really like super diverse in order for you to get an idea of what you truly love and then another reason why i think you may not be able to figure out your personal style is because you have some limiting beliefs or you're listening to the narrative of the day, which is that you should have this trend, or you should dress for your age, or you should have short hair, or you should have long hair, or you can't wear white after Labor Day, or you can't mix prints and patterns, whatever, whatever. So I think these are very much limiting beliefs. They're style stories that maybe we inherited from our family, or perhaps they're just things that we hear in the media. Whatever the case may be, I really believe that the new year is the best time to start something fresh. I think it's the perfect time to refresh your wardrobe, to reset it, to declutter it, and to really laser focus in on what matters to you. If all of that sounds really ideal to you, then I'd love to invite you to join me this year in leveling up your style. I mentioned this in one of my previous vlogs, but I'm going to be taking, and I have started taking, appointments with clients to work with them virtually. So doing FaceTime styling sessions where we really dive in on what your 
particular taste is, where you can find the best deals to shop, what pieces you need in your closet, what pieces need to come out, and how to budget for the wardrobe that you really dream of having. And I'm really excited to say that for the rest of the month of January, I'm going to be offering these sessions at a discounted rate, just as my way of saying thank you and as my way of getting started on doing this whole personal styling thing again. If you are really serious about refining your wardrobe, dressing in a more chic and confident way, and just taking really good care of yourself this year after the crazy year we've had, then I think you'd be great to become a client of mine and I would absolutely love to work with you. You can find the link to sign up for your session in the description box below. They're one hour long Zoom, FaceTime, whatever sessions, and normally I I'd be charging $100 for an hour-long session, but for the month of January, they are $75. And that doesn't mean that you have to do the session in January. You can book it in January, but for another time throughout the year. So this is really the best deal, and I think it would be a great way to get started on really transforming your look this year and feeling a lot more confident in your skin and just happy with what you've got going on in the closet. I love working with clients. I love helping them figure out their style. I love helping them see themselves in a really beautiful light. It's the best, best, best moment when I'm in a session with a client and they go, wow, I look really cute and I never would have put that together. It's the best feeling for me. And whether or not you sign up and become a client, you still have all of this great free content here on YouTube from me and from other creators. You can always email me or direct message me over on Instagram. My goal for this year in 2021 is to show you guys more outfit combinations, to show you guys how I personally have been evolving my style and what my goals and my dreams are for creating a wardrobe that is sustainable, that's as ethical as I can make it, and that is really within a budget, but that makes me feel beautiful and chic and put together where everything has a cohesive style and everything works together. If that is your cup of tea, then definitely subscribe and hit the bell notification so that when I publish a new video, you will be the first to know. And I mean this when I say this, you really are beautiful and every woman has a beauty all her own and you can find it. You have it, you've got it. Don't even doubt it for a second. <laughs> Please feel free to reach out to me anytime over in direct messages on Instagram or emailing me. I love, genuinely love having conversations with you guys. And if you've had a conversation with me, then you know that. And I just cannot wait to see all of the good things that are in store for us in 2021. So no matter what happens, no matter what the future holds for us, I really believe that the way that we treat ourselves and the way that we treat others and the faith that we carry is all that matters. So I love you. I'm sending you blessings, hugs, kisses, well wishes for this new year. I can't believe it is January, 2021. <laughs> Wishing you the best for your style and your life. And I will see you guys next week.